Would you look at these welds? Pass. Ooh, that's a big boy. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we're over here with Jason. So BMX, you ride? So? Yep, still ride bicycles. Hell yeah, Pretty dude. Heavily. Did you did you like do actual BMX racing and stuff, uh, or no, just so more, more track stuff? More freestyle. Oh, freestyle. So, dirt jumping, street, and park. We relocated to another spot. Found some whoops over here, and maybe Jason will will hit him in a little bit. Um, but let's finish going over the truck. You bought it uh, like a six inch Camberg lift, right? Yeah. Want to take us through that really quick? The truck was originally on a six inch Camberg lift, front and rear on 39 inch BFG TAs. Okay. Robbing crazy in the front. Uh, I had cut and pulled fenders in the rear, so everything matched. From there, I snowballed it, I bought a kit. It came as a weld it yourself kit, dropped it off to RG Fabrication. Okay. RG Fabrication finished welding everything out. They did all the frame plating, shock tires, everything. Had some minor setbacks from issues that were wrong with the kit. Okay. Just got it done. Some geometry stuff yeah. you were saying, right? Yeah. yeah. Geometry and okay. brake booster was in the way with how the layout was of it. Okay. After a couple of years, I got with KDM and we completely went through the kit, deleted the brake booster, did the hydro boost. Redid the upper arm to fix a lot of the geometry problems we were having. Okay. Make room for the the bypass in there, and we added in a bump to kind of help with. So you guys, process. you guys really, really beefed it up. Cool, man. Um, what are the travel numbers on this thing? So in the front, I'm cycling 19 and a quarter, strapped at about 17 and a half, 18 inches. Okay. And then your track width in the front? Uh, 96 inches. 96, right. Tell us about these shocks you got. What, what, are you, what are you running? So I'm running a King 2.5 uh, triple bypass. Okay. And then a 2.5 coilover and then a 2.0 by 2 inch uh, bump. And are those 12 inch shocks? Uh, 10 inch shocks. 10 inch shocks. 10 inch shocks. Heck yeah, dude. And these look freaking beautiful, man. Yeah. Jeez. All tuned. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not crap. only that, but look how, look at the shine on this thing, dude. That looks great, man. Hell yeah. And hubs? Camber 2.5, uh, 2.25. Okay. Hubs. Sick, dude. And then you're running the methods? Method race wheels, yes. And then nice. CWF uh, lug nuts so I can run without having to drill. And To run 5.8 studs, normally you'll have to bore out and do some machining to okay. get a regular nut, lug nut in here. Okay. CWF is uh, one of the few companies that made these lug nuts. So they have an extension on it to suck it out so you don't have to do any type of... Nice. Uh, machining on the wheels to get those these wheels on with 5.8 lug nuts. CWF off-road. CWF off-road, you yeah. guys heard it. Um, cool, and then you're running the, the classic Baja TA yeah. KRs. This is a, a wonderful tire right here, guys. This is the classic. It's been my go-to tire for the last like six years. Very cool. And then um, what's up with the steering? All stock stuff? steering, stock rack and pannion. The only thing it has on there is the, it has a T designed rack saver. It saves wonders. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really look like much, but it does its job. I mean, that, oh, yeah. that, that, that's what they say, right? Is the is the Achilles heels of this thing uh, is the rack. is the stock steering rack. Yeah, a lot of the guys that have the Chevys, they know when you're going out here and you're going through the big whoops, they break. I've broken two or three racks. I had one rack in there. I broke it first trip. Okay. Put in a T design, hooked me up with a rack saver. And I haven't broken a rack since. Dang, you guys knock hear on, that? Knock on a wood, but we'll find helps. some wood to knock on. Yeah, with the rack saver on it, I did 80 through Barstow Main, and it's still the same rack. So Damn. it helps. It helps. Um, and then what motor is this? Uh, this is a 4.8 V8. Okay. Uh, 4L60 trans. I How do you like it? With uh, changing the gears in the in the rear and doing a, a shock tuning on my buddy Armin Tuned, does good good work tuned. Uh, Danny Dejani's truck. Oh, okay. Uh, does real good work. Brought a lot of power out of the 4.8. Really? Uh, it's not really where I'd want to be, but brought a lot of potential out of this motor. And Heck yeah. The motor never leaves me stranded, so it's really tough for me to to leave it to change the motor because I've ran this thing for the last eight years and never had a problem. If it if it ain't broke. Don't fix it, man. Yeah. Very, very cool. And then uh, this is a nice little radiator setup, man. What's up with this uh, thing? It's uh, Mishimoto. Mishimoto? 
Yes. Okay. I think it's two inches thicker than okay. factory. Okay. It holds two gallons alone. Oh, oh nice. So it holds a lot more coolant in there and it opens up at I think 150 now. Okay. It doesn't ever get over I think 180 degrees. How, how's that in the dunes? Oh, fantastic. Still works out pretty good, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. What lights were you running on the uh, front? The FCK. FCK. I've never heard of FCK. They're an up and coming company. Okay, right on. Yeah, uh, they kind of worked with me and gave me, cut me a really good deal. Heck yeah. On the lights and... And there they yeah, are. How, how do you like them? Oh, love them. So this is definitely, definitely a serious cage back here. Definitely yeah. a serious back half. So who, who built and designed the back half? So this is a T Designs back half. Okay. Uh, I have a T Designs cage and back half. Nice. It's a full kit. You buy straight from T Designs. Uh, and then my buddy Sam uh, Sam Hall welded everything, did the, all the prep work, all, all the labor. Well, would you look at these welds? Yeah. Damn, dude. My brother came up with this steel for the battery. Okay. So a lot of people run just an inline fuse. Well, we this is like a circuit breaker for the battery. So if anything ever pops, if anything ever happens, it just pops. You could turn it off from here. It's like a kill switch. Nice. So if anything happens, it just triggers this. So instead of having to replace the fuse or having to carry an extra fuse, you just click it back in. No way. It restarts it back up and try to trace down what happened, what where, triggered it. Where it was. Instead of leaving you stranded if you don't have an extra fuse right. or anything. So it's kind of something we found and came across it. it has really helped me. It's only triggered once and it just came back here and popped it back in. And that was it ready to go insane that's cool man that's a cool trick and then uh i guess uh sway bar so, so that's cool we're running sway away sway bars okay so it's our whole kit real awesome simple kit uh it has actually degrees of kick so instead of being a straight sway bar it has a little bit of degrees of kick to kick it out it worked out for us so better because we were running in, into troubles of this tube wasn't actually long enough mm. uh, we didn't think about it when we made everything so we kind of so we found this way way bar and it's it worked perfect for us so you were able to adjust it yeah yeah okay uh, you want to tell us about these guys yeah 2.5 king coil over and then it's a 3.0 triple bypass uh is that a 16 or 16 eight? inch uh coil over 18 inch bypass Ooh, that's a big boy and yeah. then that way you don't have to go into the cab right yep. is that why yeah okay yeah got it yep. so like typically you know some people run the 14 and the 16, but you end up mounting in here at like mm -hmm. a different angle. Yep. Um, did that affect your travel? Are you still uh, got no, the I'm same still, travel? Still cycling. It cycles about 31, 32. Ooh, that's nice. And we have it strapped at 28. What links are you running? Uh, it's just a T designs. Oh, this is also T designs. T designs. So oh man, truck, nice. Most of the truck is all T designs. Oh so man. T designs cage. T designs back half. T designs links. And we got the canoe links over here, yeah. looking solid. Rear end. So it's a Camberg 3.5 rear end. Okay. Went ahead and did a strange uh, third member with 514 gears. Okay. Willwood uh, six piston brakes. Nice. 35 spline axles, full float. Full float. It uh, has a uh, Curie, Curie unit bearing ends instead of the Camberg ends. Okay. Kind of something uh, we came we came up with. To okay. Kinda, if anything happens, it's just a straight unit bearing, straight swap. Okay. Kind of made it a little easier for us. Oh yeah, let's talk about the gas tank. Yeah, My bad. Gas tank. <laughs> Tell us uh, about this guy. Ooh, fill fill fifty-five safe. gallon fill safe. Fuel cell. Dude, nice. Fuel safe is by far probably the best out of the box, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what they say. We get a lot of talks of why we put it where we put it instead of putting it all the way in the back. Right, I'm uh, sure. A lot of people like all the weight and everything as much far as we back, but I want. I really wanted the trunk. So okay. my idea was to keep the trunk. This is more of my weekend toy. Yeah. The, Versus like a full blown race yeah, truck. Yeah. So I wanted to be able to panel it all, put my jack in there, put some tools in there, Heck put yeah. a nice chest in there, put whatever I needed in there. And it still works, handles, and does everything I need it to do for a toy. Excellent. So here we are in the inside. And the first thing I notice is the kid seat, the best seat in the house. Yeah. You have a kiddo? I have a three year old. Nice. Oh boy. How does he like this thing, man? Oh man. I tell everyone the story of when I when we're going, he'll kind of just be sitting there and the second we start getting into the whoops, he starts going crazy, yelling, laughing, smiling, like just loving it. My, one of my buddies came with us on a ride. He didn't believe me. He goes, no way. We started going through the whoops and he said, I could hear his son over the engine, over the bypasses, just yelling, happy, so freaking stoked to be in the truck. And Dude, it just made awesome. everything so worth it. 
Well, congrats, man. That's, yeah. a, that's a really cool thing to, to have going on. Tell me about this cage again. So this is a TE T design cage. Designs cage, yes. Okay. So just to confirm, looks solid, man. Jeez, yeah. these, these guys look like they know what they're doing. Yeah. It was very uh, challenging to get the dash back in, but we got the stock dash back in. Okay. Just love the look of the stock dash. Yeah, dude. Likewise, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you got the hold fast steering wheel? Yeah, hold fast. Hell yeah. Did a uh, simple little quick release, well done hub, because it makes it a little bit easier to hop in here and climb into the PRPs. Yeah, when, when you can take it out. Seat belts out, yeah. So you're running the PRPs? Yes. Are these a Premier? Yes. It's nice. an older style Premier. Uh, How do you like them? I love them. They're, actually, they're super comfortable. Heck yeah. Uh, super wide, so it accommodates dudes from my build to yeah. someone a little bit bigger than me. Right on. Right on. Wider. That's important, man. You yeah. got to stay comfortable, man. Yes. You you let us know, man. Um, you got to keep us posted on this thing. We'd love to see this thing develop. And, yeah. you know, as you get those fenders on, you do those little details. But it's just so awesome that you're just like, you know, man, I just want to run it. Let's yeah. go. You know? Yep. Yep. Hell yeah, that's, Jason. That's basically my whole outfit on it. I'm thinking you, you, might, you might take this thing for a quick little rip. Yeah. Maybe down this little trail so we can... Let's see. Let, let's see, dude. Let's check it yeah. out. Cool, man. Let's check it out, guys. Hope you guys like this episode with Jason out here in Hesperia. If you guys have any questions for this guy, please hit him up. Uh, we have his Instagram in there and all that good stuff. If you guys have any questions for the build or any of that good stuff, please hit him up. If you guys like what we do, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. It helps us grow and uh, continue to create content. Jason, dude, thank you so much, man. We'll see you, man. It was freaking awesome. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.